Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. Here's your weather video for this Sunday morning, February the 23rd. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray. And look at the drought monitor across Alabama. No surprise to you or me, either one. Uh, 66 counties, the state reporting no drought, no abnormally dry conditions, only extreme southern uh, Mobile County getting uh, any abnormally dry conditions at all. But uh, that's not a surprise to us. More rainfall is on the way here uh, to Alabama starting late tonight and continuing through tomorrow. But uh, this morning we've got an upper-level ridge moving into the state from the west, uh, trough out west, tr trough in the eastern part of the United States. But for us here in Alabama, uh, currently dry after a beautiful Saturday. This morning, uh, we've got high pressure retreating off to the east. Uh, return flow coming to the Arklatex there, but the uh, state of Alabama dry this morning. Temperatures starting off in the 30s uh, across the area. We'll be heading for highs today, uh, likely in the 50s uh, in most spots. Maybe uh, 56 to, um, you know, 55 to 58 degrees, something like that across the state this morning now the precipitation will begin to edge in later this morning across tennessee valley this afternoon edging into central alabama this evening increasing uh, around 10 11 o'clock tonight for most areas and then continuing uh, to increase during the day on monday low pressure over southern missouri and uh, northern arkansas moving off slowly to the east associated with a big lumbering upper level low you saw just a brief glimpse of it on that first slide out in uh, the western part of the United States. That low, uh, as we always say, upper level low, weatherman's woe, it'll be moving slowly and it will uh, bring a, a decent soaking to Alabama uh, in the um, uh, through month, or late Sunday night, Monday into early Tuesday. Most areas picking up uh, one to one and a half inches of rain. Here's uh, the rain sort of at its peak Monday evening, uh, 6 p.m. on the GFS. The uh, low is near the Missouri Boot Hill. Uh, just really nothing to speak of there in terms of uh, instability. So I don't think we'll deal with any thunderstorms across the northern half of Alabama. I think there, well, I, I won't say there won't be any thunderstorms. There probably will be some, but nothing on the strong to severe side for sure. Although we'll be watching that area across south central and uh, southeastern Alabama just in case anything uh, gets its act together. This is Tuesday morning, 9 o'clock. Most of the rain is out of Alabama, the low to our north. There over central Indiana, but the precipitation should be ending. It will still be mild on Tuesday. Temperatures, actually, it'll be milder on Tuesday than it is on Monday. Uh, we'll see highs probably in the middle 60s uh, as, that, um, uh, as that system moves on out. We get a little bit of clearing skies, a little bit of sunshine. Uh, temperatures warm into the lower and middle 60s on Tuesday. Uh, but colder air will be lurking just to the northwest, as you see uh, in those thickness values over northwestern Arkansas, snows over the uh, northern plains and upper Midwest. Now, this is 6 a.m. Monday. This is a new fly in the ointment. Uh, with, that upper with that upper level low to the north, you know, we're always expecting surprises. But the Europeans have been consistently saying, and the GFS, that any precipitation that forms uh, on the backside of that system will be um, to our north. But the uh, evening run of the GFS looks a little different. 6 a.m. Wednesday, showing... Uh, a few showers uh, moving into North Alabama along with that front, and um, as those thickness as those thickness values decrease on Wednesday, it wouldn't be surprising for us to see a few snowflakes flying over North Alabama. No problems expected there, um, you know. But of course, something that we'll always be watching uh, because snow brings uh, instant interest anywhere in Alabama. This is noon Thursday. High pressure in control. Cool across Alabama. Temperatures uh, in the 40s for highs on Thursday. Uh, this is noon on Friday. We're a little deeper into the cold air, but a little more sunshine we may see uh, upper 40s to lower 50s across the state, but we're all dry. This is Saturday. We've been watching uh, another deepening trough. Uh, other systems, other model runs have shown a little bit more in the way of showers. Uh, late Friday night, early into Saturday. This not looking quite so bullish on this run. This is noon on Saturday, showing just a few light showers over southern Alabama. Moving on out into voodoo territory. Uh, next rain event after um, this week 
will come uh, around Wednesday, March the 4th. This is a, a good round of showers and storms. Not looking at anything especially severe at this time, but we're getting into March, so anything that comes into Alabama is worth watching. And then on um, late on the 8th, that's a Sunday night, into early on Monday the 9th, we've got another low-pressure system. This one tracking a little closer to Alabama. Another round of rain and thunderstorms for the state that Sunday night and Monday. Now, the GFS depicts that we'll get somewhere around, you know, three to six inches of rain over the next um, two weeks. And um, that's not inconceivable. It will just add to our rain totals. We already are at the uh, third wettest February in uh, history in Birmingham. We'll add, a probably, an, we'll add probably another inch to that total uh, before Leap Day. And um, that will keep us solidly in third place. That's your weather video for this Sunday, February 23rd. Uh, I have notes on the blog. Uh, Scott will be back here next Saturday. James, of course, have two days all week. And until the time I get to sit with you again next Sunday morning, as I always tell you, keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.